All right, so I want to do a quick video just to show you guys how to, um, if you're in a pinch, how to make a larger capacitor. So I've got a 35 by five here that's uh, diagnosed for bad. So I didn't have any 35 by fives on the truck, but I did have a 25 by five and a 10. I was gonna quickly illustrate how you can just you're in a real bad pinch I mean most of the time you just go ahead and just come back and get the right one but you know if the customer was without uh, cooling and desperate strike this is exactly what you would do or what I would do so we check our hermetic to common And that gives us, let's see here, it takes a second, 26.19. Okay, so you see that? So now what I've done, I'm making a quick jumper cable here. Okay, I already got this side crimped. So what I'm gonna do now, for the 25 microfarad side, I'm gonna go from hermetic I'm take another jumper cable here. quick jumper cable and I'll just jump it from each side of this 10 microfarad to the hermetic and the common like such and now you see I mean 36.9 so that's a 35 microfarad uh, capacitor now it's just how I got to jump there and once again 36.9 and if you were to just and all we're doing is essentially just we just have these um, the hermetic side and this 10 microfarad is just running in parallel so it's just giving us that much more capacity and uh, I like to just tape them together So now let's belly about. Try to see how it would actually get these this together, no big deal. But uh and what I would do with this is just tape it or just use this mount to make a make a wider and that's pretty much how you make a bigger capacitor if if you're in a jam so yeah if you have any questions or comments on you know um this procedure let me know in the comments below also if you like it you know what to do thumbs up subscribe and kind of helps out a little bit and see if we can get this channel get some momentum behind it I'm trying to keep it consistent for you guys thanks for watching bye now